Hello to the gamers. We're getting some nice dubs in uh, Balatro. How about the blue deck? Plus one hand every round. That's easy enough. We're having fun. We're getting free Mega Arcana packs. We're getting free Emperor cards that do very little for us now that I actually take a look at it. Um, but you know what? While we're here, hang on, so we can convert three cards to clubs. There's some clubs for you. And we can convert three cards to diamonds. I will convert two. How does that strike you? Then if I look at my deck, how we look in here? Nine hearts, 16 clubs, 15 diamonds. I, I think I kind of like it. Let's go High Priestess. Early on, you never know. Like, these extra levels could actually make a big deal. And then I don't know if we'll be able to afford a Polychrome Joker, but let's give it a chance. Four tens, huh? Um, that's a pretty good draw out of nowhere. <laughs> well. Okay. Polychrome plus 20 molt if your hand contains four of a kind. Uh, there's a lot to like about that. Four of a kind, I do have to say, that's probably something we're going to have to chip away at. It's probably not something we're going to immediately be able to... Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me, dude? <laughs> it's probably not something we're going to be able to manifest out of nowhere, so I wouldn't mind having another... Uh, uh, that's a really good early relic, honestly, or early Joker. And you know what? We can actually skip for two more Jokers. Card Sharp and Ice Cream could keep us alive through the wall. So realistically, we, we drew dead. It, we probably, given that we have Card Sharp, I think we should just aim to play two pair. Because our first two pair won't get us there, but our second two pair easily could. And we, we have to play essentially the same hand type again, so we might as well. Okay, now I think what we should be like fixated on is deck fixing. Generating tarot cards, because that will allow us to create a deck where we're getting four of a kind often. And the way that we get a lot of tarot cards, I know you probably already know this, but it's uh, getting your money as high as possible. So that's what I'm going to aim towards. I, I think I have a game plan. Now, do I think the game plan is unassailable? Do I think it's destined to succeed? I don't think it's destined to succeed. I do think we're blessed with some early game jokers that are, are quite nice. Discards two random cards per hand played. Certainly not the end of the world. So I'm, I'm just I'm aiming for two pair right now out of ease of use. It's we, we want a hand that's reliable to play two times per round so that card sharp can give us the times three. Spectral pack can make four of a kind a lot easier. Ouija is exactly what we're looking for. We got lots of tens. We're making four of a kind even better in case it actually does show up at some point. Tens. Note to self. I mean, hand, losing hand size is horrible. But the shortcut that we got to create so many tens is definitely... <laughs> is definitely something. Okay, that's not as good as I thought it would be, but it was good enough to get us over the hump. 30 bucks. Great, great spot to be. Start with it, and then you just get the Hermit cards, please. Hermit cards to just get us popping off. Let's literally just molt on some tens, bro. Make your tens better. Obviously, we're looking for like 10 4. In the meantime, I'm dumping everything I have. I'm, I'm literally giving it my all to fish exclusively for tens and we're getting there and we're making people upset that we're getting there and that's what it's all about we should have thrown the two alongside it never mind doesn't make a difference hmm hmm what's my boss blinds play only one hand how many points do i need nine thousand <laughs> oh that's that's hot that's hot okay I'm okay. I don't know why I said it in that cartoon voice. 
Five tens is going to be a nice thing to play. This should mean that our the economics of our run are sorted. Now we'd really like to have a little help to get over this hump, if possible. What about a good joker? Like for example, free mults. Not I'm literally buying this just to get us over the hump. And then how about some useful planets? Oh wait, they, they don't make them. Okay, sure, no problem. 110, not where you want to be, but trust the process. Two tens, five tens, that's where you want to be. Trust the process. Molt me, 23 molt off of the misprint. Oh, you love to see it. Honestly, you're gone. You're here. Retrigger held in hand abilities, useless for us. I am going to buy the Celestial Pack in the hopes of hitting five of a kind off. We didn't hit five of a kind, we hit four of a kind, so be it. I uh, I genuinely have no idea how to feel about this, uh, this run so far. We have, I guess what I would say is very limited uh, tolerance for like not hitting four of a kind. I mean, you can see for yourself, now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> no, we still got like 2,000 points off of that. Okay, so even five of a... You know your jokers are, are pure garbage when uh, five of a kind on anti-five isn't enough to actually give you a one-hand win. But card sharp is there. All we got to do is play five of a kind twice and then we're straight chilling, bro. Then we're straight chilling. 27,000 points required real problem that I have with this right now is is we basically don't have like a single uh, good card in our deck to use death on. I don't say that lightly. Like, of course I want more tens, but I don't really want more tens that are like, hey, surprise buddy, I'm the ten of diamonds, you know? Should have played the two. That's bad. I guess a, a, a molted 10, we're at least sort of in the conversation now. Uh, we should play full house. Our full house is actually good. Okay, so we're in a tighter spot than I would have anticipated. Um, uh, uh, why is it all falling apart? <laughs> How about planets that are actually hands I play bro they don't make them Where, where's my Marses? where's my planet X's they don't exist okay they don't exist they were they were a fabrication of the writer's room strength strength is something plus eight mult on a pair I mean I hate to do this but I think it's borderline necessary on the bright side, and I, I do mean this actually, we can start to play a little differently. Instead of playing two five of a kinds, which is ambitious. Oh, brother. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can play two four of a kinds, which is substantially more realistic to actually get to. We can strength card on a nine to turn it into a 10. And now we actually have the value of card sharp. So it's taken us two hands to get where we're going, but at least we're getting there. But we really need, and, and I hate to be this guy, but the game's got to meet you halfway. If they don't give us Arcana packs, like we can't make our tens better. And if we can't make our tens better, it's very unrealistic that we're going to have a good chance to make it through anti-8. I mean, we're, we're literally playing, like, the Ten of Diamonds right now. You know how embarrassing that is? <laughs> like, I, I, I need to be playing some stuff that has, like, a mult attached, bro. I know, you're, you're probably like, why aren't you playing four of a kind? Maybe you're right, maybe you're right, okay? But I, I was waiting for full house so I could actually get a trigger on card sharp. But then they, they just keep drawing ten, so I gotta... You gotta choose, man! And now I'm playing a straight for, for some stupid reason. And now I'm playing two pair. 
Definitely should have played your twos, but you still got there. <laughs> He's losing his mind. <clears throat> and again, I'm sure you don't need me to tell you this, a little disappointed about the fact that uh, no Arcana packs exist. Those are the, the lifeblood, man. The lifeblood of any run is uh, some good Arcana packs. But we'll, we'll do what we can with what we got. Also not super stoked to have none tens in hand after that, but that's okay. We're, so what's my game plan? Just to clarify so you know what to criticize uh, and why. We are trying to play two four-of-a-kind tens. If we do that in two hands, we tend to win, which is nice. They simply do not manufacture the kinds of packs I'm looking for. Hi, Tomo. They don't exist. Stop looking for Arcana packs. Stop looking for Mars. Stop looking for Planet X. They don't exist. You will not find them. I think it's easy to think that, like, we've gotten lucky because we're doing well. But actually, like, this run IMO is, like, a little cooked. Like, we, we've gotten... If you'll allow me to say... I'm not saying it makes it a bad game. I'm simply saying I think we've gotten a little less uh, lucky versus... I'll, I'll go ahead and play the pair. Why not? where you would expect to be. Like, not, n basically never getting the planet card that is the hand that you play is is very irritating. Hi, Tomo. Hi, but you, you, you popped your head up so fast when I started petting it. You almost, like, fractured my wrist on the, on the desk. Holy cow. An Arcana back! <clears throat> okay. We, simply put, we need tens to be better. So, as, as minor as that is, I think it's got to be done. Uh, a good ten is, uh, is hard to find and it's nice to have. What are you, eight molts? Give, give me the 15 molts, no matter what. And the, Cavendish might be like one of the ways out of a, a jam for us here. Spectral pack is very nice. Medium is, I, I consider it like purple seals are almost essential for winning the game. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked to see it. But we got a, we got a ways to go. Play four tens, please. 84,000 should still be doable with four tens. For pretty easily. I just hate looking at these naked tens, bro. <laughs> okay, it's not. It's not doable. I repeat, it is not doable. Okay, in that case, we'll play two pair. <clears throat> mm, we'll play another two pair. We might be sunk on this one. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Give me, work with me, man. All right, you have not worked with me. You've opted to work with someone else. I will take a purple seal any day of the week. We're filling our deck with garbage now. That's a skip. It's like Hiker is just, is in that awkward position where it's like too late, even though we need something. Sorry to the steel card. It's just not, uh, it's just not the way today, I think. This is the way. This is nice, at least. We know that four tens doesn't get us there. <laughs> we also know that four tens twice doesn't get us there. But you're ignoring the possibility of four tens three times, which is theoretically possible, although looking quite unlikely. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're, we're, we're stuck with this. All I would ask on this one, I would ask for your, your forgiveness, but I would also ask you to be fair and look at the... Don't just look at what we got. Look at what we didn't get versus what we would have expected to have gotten given the amount of money that we yeeted on packs. 
I genuinely, I'm of the opinion that 8 out of 10 times, you win that run unless the seed tells you you lose. So I'm, I'm, I'm planting my foot in the ground, I'm standing on business, and I'm saying I think the seed told us you're not going to win this run. Not to say it's unwinnable, but for, um, you know, as a combination of seed difficulty and player skill, my skill level was not high enough to compensate for this seed difficulty. I am O. Um, I don't really like face cards become gold, but we'll take it. You never know. Maybe maybe you end up getting like a a vampire or something like that at some point. It's, it is nice, don't get me wrong, to have lots of gold cards. And I, I think we get there, so why not just do it this way? Um, <laughs> probably should have played the full house now that I look at it. How about, how about four of a kind queens? The thing is, the, the reason I don't like it, tend not to like it, is maybe a better way to describe it, <coughs> is because uh, it incentivizes you to play Face cards, and then not to play face cards. Please give me a $4 joker. 50 chips if your hand contains a pair. What do you think, boys? We got a chance here? <laughs> we leveled up full house, right? We, we paid for a full house level. There might be a shot there. 50 extra chips, that was horrible. Obviously, we can't do that. What were you thinking? Come on, how about a full house? See, now I'm playing my gold cards, but it is, it's also my only conceivable way out. That was actually really good. I, I thought for certain we were cooked, but that wasn't that bad. Hundred and sixty points. Hold. <laughs> so, obviously, like, Vampire would go crazy, but I just need a Joker that gives me some mul- like, like, Popcorn or Banana, this is the situation they're tailor-made for. Plus 13 mold for each queen in hand. Okay, we have actually a synergy on this. We're very much incentivized to hold on to our gold cards. Well, our gold queens, at least. Like, that was pretty good. Maybe we should discard and see if we get even more queens. Or alternatively, at least. Oh, we did! What do you think about just playing a pair and then making $12 off of this? He's a genius. <laughs> oh, dude, okay. Hang on, we have an actual econ build with Midas Mask here. I never thought I would end up using this Joker well in my entire life. But a death card that copies Golden Queens actually has something going for it. Holy cow. Now you obviously have to get the Queens first. Even a single one would really hit the spot. You know, I, I think I can afford to play one hand then in this case. It creates another golden card for the future. It generates some points. It technically counts as a discard. Okay, none queens in hand was going to ruin my life. I was going to be very upset. Two queens in hand. Now we're talking. Do I mind just starting with something like this? We'll have more than 26 mults. Okay, that was not great. Am I insane to think you get away with this? Yeah, yeah, you're crazy. You're, you're out of your mind. But like, you, you need the malt, bro. Oh, but you need the chips, too. <laughs> it's a very groovy combination. Give me the chips to add to the malt. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay. So you need to play at least a pair so that, that there's something to play with. Okay, odd Todd. Before we buy that, let's see if we get our econ pumping. Huge, a actually enormous. I do want a death card, obviously, but you know, to, to each their own. Um, I'll be straight up with you. It's a little weak, but we'll use a strength card here. We didn't get a death card to hit what we wanted it to hit. Odd Todd makes odd cards better. That's that, just the extra chips that we get from that means something. And then honestly, you're adding 12 mults. Without a mult multer, you seem like a great, uh, a great addition to the squad. So you need a pair 
but you also wish to draw as many queens as possible. I can live with that. What if we just played this? Good enough. It'd be nice if some of these cards were odd, but... And our econ looks amazing. The only thing is we need to actually, like, do something with it. <laughs> Face cards give 30 chips when scored, and this is hollow. We absolutely must take it. Sorry to Sly Joker. We will be playing face cards. Like, it's... I can live with that. Even though they are gold, even though they are generating a lot of money for us. Is this a pair build? Like, are we, are we going just full-on Mercury? Maybe two pair as well? I guess what we would really want to see then is... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we would really want to see, um, like, a, a mul Molter, sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. This is so far out of the pocket versus what I'm, I'm used to running here. Yeah, I don't really know. I still, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for, like, a vampire to show up, I suppose, and just put me on autopilot. Fool gives us Uranus. That's pretty horrible. Um, I mean, seems like a decent build for stone cards, considering we're playing a lot of pairs and two pairs. More face cards also seems great. I love Vagabond. It's just not that kind of run. Polychrome? I don't, I don't know. I, I honestly, with God as my witness, I don't really know what I'm doing. Hi, Tomo. How you doing, brother? Good, good, I hope, good, I hope. Not the best odd Todd hand. Uh, I'm gonna play a crazy hand first. This is literally just to make these cards gold for the future. And then we still have one discard remaining. Try to get more gold cards. None gold. So a little, a little rude, a little offended. That's better. I guess maybe a joker that plays off the amount of money we have would also be nice. Considering how many gold cards we have, but I, I don't know. This is like... If you had asked me... If you told me the jokers that we had, and then said, how do you think your run is going? I would be like, I died four antis ago. It's so far out of my comfort zone. It's stunning to me. It's stunning to me that you wouldn't give me a queen to use this death card on. Like, we, we, we got like seven of them. We got eight of them in the deck, bro. Come on. You expect me to believe that? You're, you're just playing with us a little bit at this point. And planet-wise, I'm just, I'm just buying them. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Shoo. I guess we still... The dream hand, I guess, would be like... Well, our hand size is eight. I guess six queens and a pair would be like the dream. Maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I had better observations for what was happening, but I feel like I'm, I'm going to die with lots of gold in my pocket on this run. It's always nice to have more discard. It would be really nice to have more hand size, for sure. But more discards, sure. Um, just trying to, to chip up some cards so that the molt from the queen is, is that much better. Pretty much pure trash. Emperor card. Love to see it. Love to see it. I think we can do something there. One queen is not going to do it for us. What am I doing? <laughs> I need. I think I need to be more open to discarding gold cards to draw more queens. That makes sense to me. 
So this one is a bit of a crazy play considering we have four of a kind, but I'm, I'm telling you, well, I'm telling you many things. One of the things I'm telling you is I don't know what I'm doing. The other one is that our mult is entirely handled by the amount of queens in our hand. So maybe we should just be focusing on chips. Maybe, maybe the other face cards are red herrings and we should only be focused on getting queens in hand. This is at least gives us some reliability. A jack? A jack is a queen that just needs a strength card, as far as I'm concerned. That's what I've always said. Like, I, I get that we have three kings, and the three kings is probably worth something. But if we have to, and now I will, if we have to discard in order to give ourselves the best chance possible of drawing more queens, I think we would be foolish not to, right? And then the worst case scenario, because you have to play like a pair, we play our pair of queens and still get the value out of the other queen. No, that was horrible. That was horrendous. Oh, no, we don't, we don't have to play a pair anymore. You can just send this stuff right down Main Street, bro. It's going to be good enough, but it's... <laughs> it's going to be close. Up there! And imagine the money we'll get out of this. Oh, man. Imagine if that money in any way translated to score. <laughs> well, then we'd be cooking, wouldn't we? Then we'd be cooking up something fierce. Another queen exists. I'd still like to discard it for a tarot card, but times are, times are getting tough. Like, we, we desperately need some score, man. That's not going to do it. We need we need some mult multiing. Base chips and mult are halved. That's pretty bad. More queens. Kings, too. I mean, kings... Can I try something here without people getting too upset? What if we played King, 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 6-6, six, six, and it was the bonus sixes? So that you got all the value out of, like, scary face, and then you get the molt from the queens as well? Like, that was pretty good. Then you would just discard the the remainder. Maybe keep the stone card? Maybe, maybe it's a chip-driven world we're living in. Like, you play, like... King seven stones, so you get the scary face value out of the king, but the chips out of the stone. I have no idea, man. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> we are living, it's true, and we do have a lot of money. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. I guess at this point, well, I mean, that ant, uh, the, the voucher is a godsend. Imagine. Um, we can for sure sell Midas Mask. Like, it already works. But we need, like, something else working with us. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> we have none non-golded face cards. We can at least thin the deck so we're drawing our queens more frequently for a bit. This runs crazy, man. I, I just genuinely don't know what I'm doing. I guess we're, we're trying to play pairs of face cards that are not queens. So you get a pair of face cards that are not queens. You play them, you get the value out of Scary Face, you get the value out of the Queens. 13,000 is like a pretty good score. You get to toss a stone card alongside it here. I'll call it right now, by the way. If we win, this will be like the strangest run I've ever won with. It's, I feel so uncomfortable. I mean, not like in a literal sense, like, you know, like I'm not like squirming around in my chair or anything, but like, I, I feel like I can't play this on autopilot because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know why I'm leveling four of a kind. If anything, I should probably be leveling three of a kind. I have no idea what hand I'm going to play from one round to the next. That's nice. 
And even like, I don't, I don't know, our Econ is, is half sorted. I would discard it. Oh, but if you're gonna discard it, you gotta play like this first, that, which means you might as well use this. Judgment and Temperance. Not a huge fan of the uh, Judgment in this context. Sell it. Discard one card, get it out of your deck. Then discard this. Strength card. Very nice to turn some jacks into queens. Do we even have any jacks in the deck? We have one total jack in the deck. Okay, but then if you see a 10, you shouldn't be afraid to use your strength card. Oh my gosh, two 10s. Well, well. Jacks, which count as face cards, they're not going to become gold, but still. We actually might be one rare joker away from this run having a chance. Like a, like a 2x multi. I know what I said. Maybe a negative joker. It's only a 1 in 300 chance worth looking for. <laughs> First played face card gives you plus or times 2 on the mult. Tempting, tempting. Okay. Now here got to keep our head on a swivel. Cuz what the heck are we doing? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry for repeating the same thing over and over, but it's it's simply the truth. How about a pair of kings with a stone that doesn't do anything? Not too bad. Or as Adam Sandler said, not too shabby. How about a high card king with a stone that doesn't do anything? That was 500 points. That's pretty horrible. How about a pair of queens? It takes so much off the mold though, bro. You need, a, you can't play, I'm realizing now, you can't play debuffed cards as your high card because you need the chips. So we actually do have to play like our queens, even though they do take the mult off because the chips are actually like more valuable. This is going to be really close. Oh! <laughs> By 65 points, bro. Okay, we gotta get serious. <laughs> I'm leveling up every single planet, man. It's, dri it's driving me crazy. I don't know what planets we're playing. We're play I guess we want Mercury more than anything else. If that doesn't show up, go Venus. Maybe we, we could start to play three of a kind. But the, it's just like the... Oh, black hole. Thank you so much. The, the impact of, like, playing one extra queen is so high. Okay, so gaining 0.5x mult per discarded jack would be amazing if we... We do have three jacks. Ah, how many tens? Three tens. I just don't think we can make it happen. But it is tempting. It is. I'm going crazy mode. Forget Swashbuckler. We have so much flat mult. We have too much flat mult. We need other stuff. We need stuff that can make our deck, like, work better. Fool card gives us temperance. I mean, that's fine. We do need to survive, but, but otherwise I would say that's fine. It's like, if anything, we actually kind of need chips. We can sustain ourselves without them, but... Now, let me, let me take a peek at what three of a kind looks like with five queens held in hand. It looks pretty good. It certainly doesn't look bad. We have $93. The only thing is I just hate spending like so much of our net worth on rerolls every time. Pluto and Mercury, these are both uses in this current context, I think, because I'm scared. Okay, I think you certainly want death. You, you always want more queens. You do also want more chips, so here a font is tempting, but I'm just gonna take the easy way out and go for the molt instead via fortune teller and the money. Judgment. 18 molt. I snooze it. I snooze on it. I'm sorry, I'm a simple man. That would have been nice. 
I'm not spending more than 10 bucks on a reroll, so like, don't get your hopes up. That's as much as I'm willing to spend. Now I'll level up two pair. I will do that for you. I will discard our sun card to buy a strength. I will level up Venus. That seems like playing three kings is actually like our optimum situation right now. A jack that can go up. We love to see that. And we keep thinning the deck. A rare non-gold queen. <laughs> what if you just played two freaking stones, brother? That was not that bad. What if you played one eight? We need more chips. You need more chips for that to work. Okay. What if you played three queens? Because if the chips go... I'm not used to chips being the sticky part on a run. Now it's okay. Now that I'm thinking to myself, if if those are the sticky part, something like Stuntman would go crazy. Give, give me some chip enablers, bro. We can do something with this. We can work with this. Now that I, I semi understand what we're looking for, I feel like anti eight might be a possibility, even though it's been a a long, strange trip to get there. Be straight up with you. I'm I'm zero on that. I don't, Stuntman is exactly what I'm looking for. But the thing is, minus two hand size is like not acceptable. Unless I'm willing to give it a round to try. One round. Otherwise, no, no, we don't we don't care that much for malt. First hand is drawn face down. What do you think? <laughs> is it a king or is it a queen? Is it a king or is it a queen? We're going to find out. It's a queen. Look at the power of 300 extra chips, bro. Look at what this can do for you. What if you just played a pair? With the 300 chip bonus. I think we've solved the problem. I think we're going to win with the strangest run I could possibly imagine. Just, we're going full queen maxing from this point forward. All you can add to the deck are, are amazing cards, but preferably queens. Polychrome, polychrome glass ace, you will not tempt me. Not today, Satan. No, I refuse. I, I'm buying earth against my better judgment. Uranus makes sense for our run. But three of a kind is like one of the best things we could realistically play. Huge. Because we, we want to hold some queens in hand. Or what, what if you just threw king stone, bro? That's really good. Because like the 300 chips times 13 is like basically every queen that we hold in hand is like 3,000 points by itself. Everything else is like secondary. Add some enhanced face cards? Sure. You didn't destroy my queen and you added, you even added a steel queen, you piece. I knew I liked you. Level up my pair. Level up my three of a kind. Then roll me. Level up my high card. We've been playing it, brother. I think we've... I'm, I'm proud of myself. Um, not that this run was that difficult, but it was difficult for me to understand at the very least. We wish to remove you. Keep the stone card, because chips are the only thing that matters. Are you even going to count? You're, you're still going to count for Shoot the Moon, right? Otherwise, we would just be like... We'd just be toast. What would we be doing here? Huge. Huge. What are you going to play, though? <laughs> well, I need chips, but the chips come from Stuntman. So just play garbage and throw a stone on top of it. Ah! Um. 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 Hang on. It doesn't work. It. I. I mean, I don't know what to tell. I have to throw three of a kind. Did we just get murked by the boss bounty? 
Oh my God. <laughs> no, we did not just get murked by the boss bounty. But it did get a little close. <clears throat> Don't I, I was going to say I have a negative joker coming my way, right? This is, I mean, now do you want to argue about this being a lucky run? <laughs> I think we got, we got pretty freaking lucky. One free reroll per shop. Just what I needed to really tie this run together. Okay, um, we go next. You'll give me $54 for skipping this blind. Double it and give it to the next guy. That's what I say about that. I've never conceived of a, uh, <laughs> I don't know what am I doing. I've never conceived of uh, a, a run with such a small hand size and such anemic scoring hands, even having a chance, holy cow. Three of a kind queens, even like discarding the queens was huge for us there. Two jacks, that means we buy a strength card. It, it appears to me, I'm not calling it yet, but it appears to me that we are going to make it, which seems unfathomable given the circumstances surrounding our existence right now. But here we are. Here we are. Roll me. I think we just go next, bro. Did that say very large blind? <laughs> no, 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 no. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do me like that. I don't think they would do me like that. You know what I'm also realizing? You probably realized this for yourself at some point as well. We could absolutely play, or we could get rid of Scary Face for a better Joker. He figured out how to play the deck. I'm, 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 it's an inspirational story. Although, we, now that I think about it, we are playing face cards. I don't know. Predominantly, we are playing face cards. Maybe just don't mess with it for now, because, like, let me see what this boss has got going on first. 15 mult on zero discards. Tempting to get rid of you. Just to get some extra score. Like, trading card, it's not one of those you tend to stick with forever. I would love to copy a Joker. I just don't know. Like, I, I, I think it would. it's too fun not to try. <laughs> but do I... Let me look at this blind again. Very large blind. I, I don't think I could take it. I think I need to maintain my, my score, unfortunately. I wish I didn't, to be honest. Because I think it would be more fun, but but we need like one freaking dynamite hand. We need like two play three queens while holding queens in hand. So let me let me think about this for a second. Why don't you become glass? Give me give me this. This gives us some outs in, if if it doesn't win immediately which it won't, and in fact, we need a lot more. Okay, three queens. I think we're tapped, guys. <laughs> we got four queens left in the deck. I don't know what we'd be looking for. Like it doesn't, to me, five queens doesn't get the job done here because obviously we lose the mult. You gotta play your queens, though. I guess we should have thrown king and seven alongside it. Come on, tell me some chips get the job done here. Well, honestly, I, I can still be proud of that one. Our luck ran out, but what a strange run that really started to stretch the way I perceived Balatro. 
Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Were it not for the boss blind, you were torched.